In this video we're going to make a paint rack. Um, so this building video we're gonna do something slightly different to the norm um, I've my work area hobby area has got a bit untidy got paints everywhere uh, I'll paints on my desk and my tray and thanks to Chris I've got paints sort of underneath my desk in a box that he gave me because he no longer uses games workshop paints so I thought I'd have in a little uh, bit of a organization session and but I wanted to build a paint rack to put my paints on um, it sounds simple enough, this project can be quite simple to do, but I'm going to use some um, vinyl wood effect covering which sort of bumps up to there. If you don't do that, it just goes back to a fairly easy project. So it's quite easy, it's just made from foam core, uh, some vinyl wood green effect stuff, and some pins and PVA. Uh, all the links to this will be, uh, what I've used will be in the uh, description and maybe a comment pinned to the top if I remember. So yeah, let's just get on with this. The first thing I'm gonna do is get out 10 paints. So I want 10 paints uh, to a, uh, a shelf. I'm gonna measure it just so I know how wide, how long 10 paints gonna be. And it's gonna be 13 inches. Uh, while I've got these out, I also want to uh, have a look at how high they are so I know how much space I'm going to need in between each shelf. And this works out at two inches. I think I worked it out. Maybe about two inches. And so I know, and what's not shown here is that I measured the uh, sort of the width of the shelves going to be, and they're going to be an inch and a half. So the first thing we're going to do is get some black foam core uh, that's going to be five mil thick black foam core and this is where it gets a bit weird in this video because we're going to jump between uh, Imperial and um, metric uh, so we're going to just come in here and we're going to put a line 13 inches and we're going to measure and cut that when cutting foam core always use a fresh blade, I'll just put this in, otherwise it will tear rather than cut your board with the foam inside the card. And it's always best to put a little light pressure on but do two or three passes rather than one and then you get a nice smooth cut. Next up, we're going to come in and we're going to measure Uh, where's the paper? Inch and a half gaps. That's how wide the shelves are. And what you'll see here is um, you'll see me measure out and cut out. Well, you see me measure out seven rows rather than uh, your 95 shelves because these two bits here at the end will be the uh, end pieces of the rack, which we'll get to a bit later on. So I'm just going to measure and cut these out. And then they are cut out. What I'm going to do now is put these to one side. And now let's make the side panels of the rack. This is the other two bits we measured that we cut out uh, earlier. Uh, now we need to work out how high it's going to be. I already know this, I already know it's 10 inches is how high I want the uh, sides to be. But to work this out for yourselves, um, this is why I said it gets a bit tricky with the jumping between the uh, measurement systems because we're going to come in the bottom here and I know because it's 5 mil foam so you put a little 5 mil mark there that will be the bottom shelf because I want a shelf at the bottom rather than going onto whatever surface you put this on flip over because I know I want 2 inch clearance between the shelves so you measure 2 inches flip back that's where shelf will go so it'll be 5 mil flip over 2 inches flip back 5mm flip over, 
two, and you keep going like that until you've done five shelves worth. I think this will be it. So you got one, two, three, four, and your fifth shelf will fit here. Uh, so we can measure five mil just for, oh, that's a quarter of, cent, quarter of an inch, five mil. So that's where the top shelf will be. So if you put your rule here now, it will be nine inches, but you don't want, you don't want it to be flush. You want something so, you know, they don't fall off the edge. So I just put a little mark here for 10. So what we're going to do is measure up 10 I'm using a set square. Just going to go along and also go along with these lines because these will help us later on when we're putting it together, which will tell us where to put the shelves. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you once it's done. I've just got it all spaced out here. Cut this across. Like that. Cut down. Yeah, now we... That's all the components made now. Now what you can do is just leave it black and assemble it like this, but what I want to do is give it a wood effect. Now you could paint it, but what I thought is this stuff, and as usual be link in the description on Amazon, it's a double sided wood grain textured plastic with sticky on the back so you can stick it on, as you can see it peels away here. What we're going to do is measure it 13 inches, but be careful because sometimes it has a little, it doesn't go right to the edge at the beginning of the roll. So we'll go 13 and a bit there. And we're going to measure all the way down. And if you notice on the back, it has sort of, you can see it, apart from all the pictures and demonstration it's used for, you can see a graph, a grid on it. Uh, always try and make use for this to make you know you can use it to line your cuts and your lines up properly so I'm measuring down here 13 and a smidge and I'm gonna draw a line and cut it with a sharp craft knife this stuff cuts really easy next up we want to cut put enough on so we can uh, fold our shelf. Uh, don't worry about the back too much, uh, it's not going to be seen. So what I'm going to do is wrap it over so it covers the back, the front and the bottom and put a line down. Um, again, using the guidelines I can see that wasn't quite accurate. So what I was going to do is just, yeah you can see me just jimmying it up here a bit. And what I, what I worked out afterwards that this is three and a quarter inches. So after I've done this one, you can just cut three and a quarters um, and cut multiple ones out. Next up, it's a case of peeling off the back paper to reveal the sticky part. And this is tricky with one person. You might need someone to help you with this. I persevered and went off camera a bit where it's sticking to me. But all you do is you put the foam, carefully put the foam on, try and not to, uh, and do it in one swift motion. Get it near, put it over, and then just fold it, and fold it over and push down. And hopefully you won't have many air bubbles. It's one there, but. It's not too bad, I'm quite pleased with that. Once you do have it on, what you can do is just run the edges over a flat surface like here, just to push down and stick the overhangs a bit, it's just, to, just to tidy it up. It's not essential, but you can see here, it's just to fold those bits over. Just keep going until you're happy with it. The shelves are all uh, covered. But the side panels, before we do these, um, what we want to do, remember those guidelines we did? If we cover it up straight away, you're not going to be able to see the guidelines. 
and the shelves can be held in with pins here now if you didn't necessarily want to worry about putting pins in you don't have to worry about this this part necessarily you can just cover it all in one go but what I want to do is the pins will go in here and then it, this once the pins are in this will fold over but at the same time I need to transfer the guidelines onto this half of the uh, wood grain effect so I will be able to line the shelves up on the inside here so what, what I'm going to do is um, just going to just doesn't have to be exact or anything so I'm just going to come in put it in place and just use a pen just to uh, just draw them back in And then all we're going to do is just with this half, just peel off half of it. Uh, this bit helps if you have nails. I don't. Like so. Come back to half. All you've got to make sure you do is you've kept your bottom and your top, you know where they are. Same with this. So we've got a bottom down here. Put that in place. So yeah, that's going to be my inside. I'm probably going to try and sort that out off camera a bit. It's going to be the inside and that's going to be the outside. And so I've done the other one. I've tried to sort this, to sort this one as best as possible, but this one's much gone on much better. So now, they're going to be your two insides there, leaving these bit exposed. Now, so we're going to pin it, put, use pins, so it's best now to uh, come along and just pre-put the pins in. This will, again, save, save time and hassle later on. Don't poke all the way through, just put them in to a piece. These will help hold the shelves in while it's gluing and strengthen it in the finished product. And now we come to assemble it, which is possibly the hardest stage of this, of this procedure. What you're going to do is come along, put some glue on the edge, and poke your pin through. Make sure it's flush to the floor. Put your first one in and just stick your pins in. There you go, and then you just repeat for this one. like so. Once you've got the first one in, we will work with it on its back like so. Uh, got your guidelines here, it's just run a light layer of glue around along it. You can probably get away with putting glue on all of them in one go, but I'll say I'm gonna work on one shelf at a time. So now make sure you come in Get it roughly leveled out. Get it properly leveled out. Make sure everything's flush to your desk so it's not warped or anything. And just push the pins in. Like so. And all we're going to do now is do the rest of the shelves. And that's it in place. Uh, we'll come along in a minute and we can tidy up the glue, but it'll just dry clear. It's PVA. That's it. So now we've just got the. Uh, you see the pins there? Push, they're all pushed in. But what we can do now is remove this. Once it down, fold it over. Push down. You got your wood grain effect in the side there. That is effectively our paint rack done. You don't want to go any wider than these 10 paints because you will get a bit of bowage, but this will also allow you to get in and out, get the paints in and out easier as well, because you'll be able to just 
the shelves. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to fill it up with paints. And then they are complete. I've got room for more paints and you can see even with this, just with 10 on, on one of them, is the shelf's going to bow a little bit. I'm okay with that. You don't want to make them any longer after I sell bow more. In fact, it looks worse on camera than what it actually is in real life. But yeah, there you go. There's a uh, homemade paint racks. Quick and easy for organising your hobby room. Hey right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like. If you have any questions, uh, post them down below in the comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. It really helps us out. And until next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.